So when you start to take your blood pressure, this is what you do. You should be seated down, both feet flat on the ground. Your hand should not be moving around. You shouldn't be talking, as you see my friend Anna here demonstrating. Your arm is out, and then you click the button to start the blood pressure monitoring through a machine. My name is Devin Desai, and I'm a senior here at Duke, majoring in public policy with minors in biology and chemistry. My name is Anna Therrican. I'm a sophomore planning on studying biology and global health with the health policy certificate. And together we're going to be talking about our team closing the gap on health disparities and outcomes through hypertension. So you might be wondering what hypertension is and hypertension stands for high blood pressure. It's a very common health condition in this country. About one in every three adults in the United States have hypertension. And when we look at Durham County, it's closer to one in two adults. We also see that as a healthcare system, we're projected to spend more than $220 billion by 2035 on hypertension, showing the need to find cost-effective methods that are efficient and safe to use for patients. There are also many racial disparities that are present in hypertension. So taking these factors into consideration, our group in our study had four main objectives. We first wanted to see how can we use blood pressure monitoring, diet, exercise, and other strategies and deliver care to patients through community-based intervention. We also wanted to tailor the program specifically to Durham County, and even more specifically, we wanted to tailor it to the Lincoln Community Health Center, which is a federally qualified health center right here in Durham County. We also wanted to involve relevant stakeholders, involving patients and healthcare providers. So when you look at the methods of what we did, uh, we enrolled 345 patients that were identified through the Lincoln Community Health Center. These were all adult patients who were Black or African American, and they had severe hypertension. So when you take your blood pressure monitoring, uh, your machine is going to give you three numbers. The top number is your systolic blood pressure. It's going to be the higher number. The bottom number is the diastolic blood pressure, um, and that's the second number. And then on the bottom, it would often give you your heart rate as well. So these were some of the factors that we were studying in our research here at Duke. So as we were going along in our methods, we developed call scripts. So patients had the chance to talk with student ambassadors where we asked patients to enroll in our program. If they wanted to, they received a free blood pressure cuff in order to take their blood pressure monitors at home. We also help patients identify SMART goals and ways that they're able to lower their blood pressure just at home. This can be done through a variety of interventions that Anna is gonna talk about in a little bit. And then through different follow-up calls, we talked with patients to see what are some ways that you've seen your numbers go down over time and how can we as student ambassadors help you achieve those goals. So as Devin kind of explained, we work directly with these patients by calling them and making up to four phone calls and developing a relationship with some of these patients. So as he kind of said, we identified a total of 345 black patients um, as a part of Lincoln Community Health Center um, with around an average age of 53 years old with um, an equal number of males and females um, with their insurance status stated here. Um, but within our total implementation program, we had 345 patients identified and 230, 234 of these patients um, picked up their phone call and we got their phone numbers from their um, electronic health records, but 201 of these decided to enroll in our program. So what this meant is essentially these patients decided that they would take the free blood pressure cuff that we offered them and be willing to follow up with these phone calls. Next, we decide the participation rate dropped from here where 70% of patients followed up with a phone call number two. And this essentially meant that they worked with us to be able to create a goal that was with their lifestyle, whether this be, I'm gonna go on a walk every single day, I'm going to eat more veggies in my diet, I'm going to decrease the amount of sodium that I intake. And we had a total of 20 patients complete our implementation program. So specifically when looking towards the impact that this had on their hypertension, we see that out of the 199 patients that decided to follow up with their physician and come in for an appointment, 70% of these patients showed a reduction in hypertension. And this is significant because we're seeing that by allowing for these patients to self-monitor their own blood pressure, it's an effective way to reduce hypertension without including all of the other things that may be harmful to their own lifestyles. 
In the future, we would love to be able to grow this implementation program, not only within Lincoln by implementing more classes and things to help individuals learn about hypertension and things that they can do, but on top of that, recruit this to more universities and other federally qualified health centers. Thank you.